Hello everyone, this is Elijah from the Financial Anatomy YouTube channel and let me welcome you to another video where we're going to be talking about Cash App. In general, we're talking about apps that involve money, credit cards, and personal finance on this channel. And a lot of y'all have had this question and I had this same question myself, which is if you've gotten this error, which is on the screen, that basically says that you can't link a particular debit card, you need to link another one. What causes that glitch? Is it a glitch or what causes that problem rather and how do you solve it? So I've encountered this a few times and it's always with the same cards. So I decided to reach out to Cash App Support to figure out what's going on and seeing if they could fix whatever the problem was. And this is what support basically told me. They told me that I had linked too many debit cards to this account at the same time at some point and there's only a limited number of debit cards you can link before you will get this message. I asked him exactly how many debit cards is this limit and is there a way of rotating debit cards out and he basically said that no there's not. So at this time it doesn't look like it's a glitch it's just a security or safety feature that Cash App just has embedded in their system so that you can only link a certain number of cards and once those cards are associated with that Cash App account it's locked in and there's nothing that can be done about it. Now, to be honest, I think this whole thing is a little ridiculous because it takes too much control out of your hands, the customer, and there's no way of really reversing it or changing these cards out. So I think the whole thing's kind of dumb, but you know me, I'm all about solutions. So how can you solve for this problem? Well, what you can do is you can go to one of Cash App's competitors. In this case, the closest thing would be the Revolut app or the Venmo app and link the cards that you're not able to link on Cash App anymore or just period to Venmo or Revolut. Then add your Cash App debit card to those accounts and you can add money via your Cash App debit card that way using the same card but using the third party as kind of an intermediary. So you link the card to Venmo and then you link your Cash App card to Venmo and when you want to add money using that debit card that you can't on Cash App, you add it to your Venmo account and then you add that money from the Venmo account to the Cash App card. Now there is a fee associated with this, but you can get around that if you just link your Cash App bank account using your routing number and account number to Venmo and then you can transfer the money that way. So it's a tad bit inconvenient to have to do all this, but the good news is I made videos on Venmo and Revolut. If you haven't signed up for Venmo, you can sign up by checking out this video on the screen that breaks down the process of how to do so. I've also added videos on how to add debit cards to both Revolut and Venmo so that you can use that at your disposal to add your money to your Cash App account. That does it for this video. I personally would like to see this feature changed because this is a newer problem. It really only started becoming a problem two months ago when it kept happening, so I reached out to support to find out what the problem is. But that's essentially what the video is about and the solution. Maybe they'll change it in the future. I prefer that they do, but for now, that's all we got. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't signed up for Cash App and you have an interest in doing so, check this video out that breaks down the sign up process and how to get started. I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to get out there and take control of your financial destiny.